jumping in here to, to about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, I, I want to talk about how building an online business is really a relationship game and people don't realize that. Now, um, but I want to talk about that and talk about the different ways it is. Now, if you don't know me, I'm Bobby Clink. Uh, I'm the online entrepreneur and um, lawyer behind kind of the online genius brand. I've also got my uh, fans first brand. And I wanted to jump in here and just, just chat about something that I've been thinking about recently. Now, before I get to that, if you see like I've got this right here, um, it's a sign that I've been working out too hard. I'm, I'm working with a trainer and I have, um, I guess, weak capillaries in my face. He worked me out so hard that I like, look like I have a black eye because I busted capillaries in my face, which I guess that's a good sign. I guess I'm working hard that way. But, um, you know, I, some people sometimes comment about it, about things like that. So I wanted to just, you know, be honest about it. But um, that's not really why I'm here. Why I'm here is I want to talk to you about uh, how in reality, being an online entrepreneur, we need to be kind of getting back to the basics on a regular basis. We need to be thinking these things through. We need to be finding, you know, what are the basics we need to be working on to build the right foundations for our business? Because quite honestly, it is not the fancy stuff. It's not the, the, the you know, uh, the ninja marketing that actually builds your business. What builds your business is doing the basic stuff right. So you do the basic stuff right, you can screw up all that fancy stuff and it doesn't matter. On the other hand, if you don't have the basics right, you can do the, the fancy stuff perfectly and it still doesn't matter. So, you know, ultimately having a successful business is about the basics. And one of the most basic things that um, I believe and that I have found it in my business building is the most important thing for us to be doing is focusing on relationships. I am a fan of relationship based marketing. And what I want to talk about when I'm saying this is I'm not saying like relationships just with like people above us. And when, when you say relationships, a lot of people think that's what they're talking, what I would be talking about. Well, they might think that I'm talking about like influencer marketing, where you are trying to connect and build relationships with influencers who will then like, you know, promote you. And that's one kind of relationship. But what I'm talking about is a broader perspective. And it is that we need to be focusing on relationships at every single level. And so, yes, you need to build a relationship with mentors who maybe are influencers and could help you in certain ways. But you need to build relationships with your peers. And you also need to build relationships with your followers, with people who are you know, coming up behind you, with people who might want to buy from you. When you do that, when you actually build those relationships kind of across the board, that can be the key to kind of being successful and building a really successful business over the long term. I, from my experience, can talk about how each one of those has been important. But before I talk about that, I want to talk for a second about kind of what got me thinking about this. What got me thinking about this is a couple of different things. But number one, I talk about it in the context of my fans all the time that, that, that we should be focusing on connecting with our fans and engaging with them and doing those things. But with your peers and with mentors, I've had things, some questions that I've seen some people ask recently that made me think about it. Like I see people ask, well, how do I become an influencer? Or I'll see people ask, well, how do I find affiliates for my business? Or how do I find this or that? And the answer to all those questions, in my view, is very simple. You don't. You don't try to become an influencer. You don't try to find affiliates. You don't go and say, okay, I want an affiliate. You go and you build honest relationships without expectation you take my approach of being a radical giver and just, you know, going and serving people. And, and maybe it's mentors, maybe it's peers, maybe it's your potential fans. And if you just do that, guess what? If you focus on giving and, and on serving and on building relationships, you'll become an influencer. You'll get to the point that people will come and say, can I be an affiliate for your product? And you'll have people come and say, hey, can you come on my podcast or can I come on your podcast or your, your video show or your guest blog or whatever it is, because they'll see you in the right light. And so the answer to all those questions about how do I do X, Y, and Z is you don't, 
you just focus on building relationships. And I want to talk about kind of different kinds of relationships and how they come up. So one of the most obvious ways that you can actually get, a, you know, get or uh, kind of make progress in this business is to build relationships with mentors or potential mentors, people who are ahead of you. Those are obviously things that people know. The problem is most people are saying, how can I get a relationship with this person so they can help me? If you take that approach, you're never going to work. Um, in my experience, in my business, I ha have taken the very opposite approach. I simply said, how can I serve this person? And in, if you know me or if you follow me with any level, you know that the person that I first kind of developed this kind of uh, relationship was with is Amy Porterfield. She has a huge audience, especially compared to me. And I just started serving her and her community. I, I found ways to give, to be helpful, to, to be encouraging, to do all of those things in her communities, which she and her community manager noticed. And so then, you know, they, they asked me if I could do this for them. And I said, sure, of course. And I gave and I gave and I gave. And as a result, she had me guest teach in one of her programs. She's had me on her podcast a couple of different times. You know, I'm an ambassador in her program. The last time I was in it, we, we did a, a q and a. it It just happened to be like when I was had an open cart period. I didn't plan to promote, but she said, oh yeah, yep, yeah, I'm gonna tell people about this. So that's the kind of thing that can happen with an influencer, with someone who's above you with a mentor. But if you're trying to get that, it's not gonna work. The, the secret to me building that relationship was that I just was building a relationship to be helpful. And so if you're trying to connect with influencers, if you're trying to connect with potential mentors, don't try to connect as a mentor. Just like connect with them, give, serve, do those kinds of things and it'll be helpful. Now with peers, it's just as important. Like uh, I have had a bunch of my mastermind, like people from my mastermind on my um you know, on my show, I also refer, have been on their show. I refer them at work. I do all of those things and I do it as a service. And so as a result, I have these relationships and, and people then want to help me. They want to help me when I'm working on something, people will offer, you know, to, to help me do something that's within their niche. And, you know, normally they would charge people for it, but they're going to help me because I've just built a relationship because that's what we should be doing. So I want you to do that too. Build those relationships with your peers so that you have kind of a connection with people so that you have those people who are kind of, you know, on the journey with you. And it's not just that. It's like, these are the people that you can call and say, Hey, I'm thinking about this idea. Can I, can I talk to you about it? Can we just maybe, you know, bounce ideas off? And that's fantastic. Having those people is a great thing for you as well. So if you build relationships with your peers, you'll have those people as well. And then the final level is to build relationships with your potential customers and your fans. And this is the one where most people don't do the work. Most people think, I don't need to do that. I can delegate that. I can automate that. I can do that is the worst idea ever. Um, if you build relationships and connections and let people into your life and actually take the time to connect with them, um, you know, to, to, to engage with them and do things like that, they will become some of your biggest fans. And if they become your biggest fans, guess what they become? They become your street team. They're, they're out there marketing you without you having to. Because I've taken the time to do that, because I do things like respond to emails when people email me, you know, respond to this and, and you know, just notice people and know who they are. People who've bought things from me who are in my community will like, I get tagged all the time with them telling other people to go buy my stuff. Or someone will say something mean about me and one, two, three, a bunch of them will jump in and say, you're nuts. Bobby is one of the nicest guys in the world and he actually cares. And so if you build those relationships, I'm just going to tell you, your fans, your customers, all of that, those will be some of the people who are your best marketers and you don't have to pay for it because all you've done is taken the time to serve the living crap out of these people. And then they see that you are someone that they are happy to refer other people to. So that's kind of the, the levels that I like to talk about. But my point here is that at the end of the day, this business, building any kind of business is still about relationships. And so you should take time every day, every week, every month, 
part of what you're doing should be, how am I going to build relationships today? And generally, that's going to be by serving, by, by showing up and giving, by showing up and engaging, by showing up and connecting with people. If you're not doing that stuff, you're selling yourself short. So my uh, recommendation to you on this Monday, take some time, carve some time out of your schedule to make sure that you are building relationships with people, not to get something, not because you expect to get something, but just for the sake of building relationships. And when you do that, you will be so much better off in the long run. So that's what I have for you today. Just wanted to, to jump in with this quick message uh, and, and encourage you to take the time to build relationships to get your brand better. That's it for now. I'll talk to you later.